hey guys good morning um i am on a roll this morning i i'm still waiting for another word to upload that i um did this morning and um uh, i did like at 6 46 this morning i'm still waiting for it to upload but i just wanted to share something really fast and i cut my hair can you tell like it is crazy like i don't know what got into me i had not been really feeling well i've been having a headache like i said on the previous word but this word might post before that one so i just i think i just wanted to be pampered and um my roommate did it for me and even if it's not perfect like i don't care like i just i feel like i needed to be pampered and my head was hurting so bad and so you know how when you go get your hair done they're massaging you and they're shampooing it and it just feels so good on the scalp that's what i was feeling and uh so yeah it's supposed to be like an a-line cut it's supposed to be like long in the front and then short in the back but this for some reason this side was shorter than this side so yeah it's like a whole thing i mean i haven't done nothing to it i got the shower and just let it dry air dry so this is what happens to my hair when i let it air dry but it's it's different anyways um god just gave me this whole uh, word okay now i'm probably not going to be on here long and this is not even a funny word this is not even an exciting word but it's exciting to me that guys like and don't mind my mask like that's my closet over there did like don't even look over there but it's like the lord i can't explain it like he's he's like speaking to me in a different way but the same way does that make sense it probably makes sense anyways and i have like my laptop sitting on like books and bibles and notebooks and because I don't got my desk right now, but I'm going to have a desk soon, okay? So, um, what the Lord revealed to me, guys. Um, I was watching this TikTok. And it was this guy that was talking about how he, out of nowhere, he heard, like, someone knocking at his door. And he didn't see nobody, didn't, like, nothing, but he, he heard the knocks. And, um, my coffee's probably, like, watered down. I need to take more water. I think that's why I have my headaches. Yeah, the water down. Ugh. Hold on. My sister got me this cup. Isn't it cute? It's, like, pretty big. Anyways, okay, so he heard a knock, didn't see nobody, and then I think like a relative of his was like got home late from work, and um, heard a knock at the door at four o'clock in the morning, but he said that he knew it was the lord speaking like he knew it was god speaking because he didn't see nobody but he heard the knock and it was like an urgent knock and what scripture came to his mind and what scripture came to my mind is i'm standing at the door and knocking or i'm standing at the door and knocking out i'm gonna give you scripture and the lord brought back to me yesterday what happened yesterday Tom and I were watching a movie or we were watching something and um out of nowhere like someone's knocking at the door I mean loud I mean like aggressive like not maybe not aggressively but it was it was pretty it was a knock that you don't hear often well to me and so um I was like who the heck is at the door like that like who's knocking like that and so Tom answers the door. I hear somebody talking and they're like, oh, this isn't such and such address. They're like, no. And so Tom was talking to Anana, and Anana was like, yeah, that's been going on often lately. Like they've been coming, they've been sending the pizza to the wrong address. 
apparently it's a pizza delivery right and so um the person's name guys i believe his name is jack okay where am i going with this this is where i'm going i came across that video on tiktok where people are hearing knocking don't see anything but they hear it okay that happened to me yesterday and not to me but i was able to witness it happening somebody knocking at the door there was literally someone knocking at the door and the guy's name is jack right so what i got from it was that the lord is knocking at so many of people so many people's hearts and they're not listening they're not understanding what is going on and it's the Lord tugging at their hearts to come in and dine with him because there is he is coming back guys I know I say this over and over and over again but he's coming soon and we have to be prepared for the day of the Lord's coming. And we want to be able to get into the gates of heaven and spend time with God for the rest of eternity. Sorry guys, I have the windows, I have the wood. I have the blinds open. And God likes to speak to me through the clouds and stuff. And there, I, I see something, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. And it's just it's getting my attention. But anyways, um, what I got from it is, behold, the Lord is standing at your heart and knocking. And you're not listening. I, I'm, I don't mean to laugh about this or smile about this. I don't. But at the end of the day, I want everybody whom I don't even know to fellowship with Jesus, to have a relationship with Jesus, to, to be in eternity in heaven, not in hell. And it's just mind-boggling how God is giving me these words like it's insane it's insane it's insane but it's all God I know when I hear from him I know what he's speaking and it's it's you know God will speak through anything I've said that it's my previous word. this word might be posting before the other one does but it's like God speaks to us all in different ways he knows how to get our attention and he knows what what to use what avenue to use and I just thought wow God like how is it that I come across a TikTok video where people are hearing knockings at the door and literally somebody was knocking at the door like they were a crazy person yesterday and at the wrong address and I was going um with um the guy's name Jack if I'm looking at this correctly his name is, I looked it up, his name means God is gracious. God is gracious. So God is gracious and he's, but, but his grace will run out. If God keeps knocking at the, at, at the heart, at your heart, and you know that you're in sin, and you know that you're not supposed to be doing this, you know that there's more to life than what you're living in, he's, he's knocking and tugging at your heart. And saying, come to me, come eat, come come be with me. And I'm going to read that scripture. Um, it's Revelations 3.20. And, um, hold on, I highlighted it. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my father's, on my throne, as I, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. 
He who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The Lord doesn't want anyone to perish. And he's giving so many second chances. But his grace will run out. For example, let's just say, I'm just giving an example. But let's just say you, I don't know, you follow the Lord, you love him, you know that you talk to him, you know that you pray with him, you know that you spend time with him, but yet you keep, there's a particular sin that you can't stay away from. And you keep going back to it and going back to it and going back to it. And God keeps giving you dreams, visions, and warnings of that particular sin. He's going ahead of you. He's already telling you to stop. Because this is what's going to happen. And I just said this in my previous word. He's giving you time after time after time after time. Because he wants to purify you. He wants to cleanse you. He wants you to be right with him. But you keep allowing your flesh. Or even the enemy. To overtake that. Because the enemy wants you to stay in sin. In bondage. But God doesn't want you there. So you just keep going back. And you keep, oh, I'll, I'll get right. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. I'll go right with God tomorrow, next week. It doesn't work like that. God's grace will run out. He is a gracious God. He's a loving God. But he's also a just God. not let no one knock at my door um hold on might have to pause okay I had to pause because sometimes I get interrupted and anyways um I'm at a loss for words right now But I do know that, you know, we can't, God allows us free will. He does. But he doesn't want us. He wants all of us. He doesn't want partial. He doesn't want the 2% or the 3%. He wants all of us our whole heart 110% you know um, I've talked about this before but I remember um, this was like in the very beginning of my walk with God I wasn't really matured in Christ just yet so um I was like still you know with God but then at the same time I was like still in the world and he gave me this dream and in this dream guys I woke up with the fear of God over my life and I've talked about this before but I'm gonna talk about it again because it keeps just burning through my head so I'm just gonna share it um in 
the dream. I can't remember exactly what happened, but I do know that um, it was as if God was coming. It was as if Jesus was coming, and I remember looking at the moon. I remember seeing the moon, and it was like red, or like an orange, orange reddish color, and it caught my attention. And then I remember like going up the stairs, and. Somebody said, if I'm not mistaken, somebody was like, Jesus is coming. Or Jesus is here. I can't remember exactly. And I felt like this magnetic, it was, and then I heard like a, the, what is it, Lord? The, um, oh God, I just lost it. The, um, a really loud I cannot think of that word right now. Trumpet. And I remember like a magnetic force pulling me up. Right? But it, I only went so far. And then I came right back down. And I woke up. And I felt in this dream. Because when you have dreams, God will give you a knowing like such a deep knowing that you know what the what the dream means before him even telling you anything if that makes any sense and so in this dream i had that deep knowing that i needed to get myself together and i can't serve god and people at the same time now looking back i see that and when i woke up i had so much fear it, it wasn't fear like scared it was fear of the lord fear there's a difference and the fear of the Lord was like you know when we fear the Lord it's we're loving what he loves and we hate what he hates and it was just like it was so strong on me and I went straight to my Bible and I started reading the book of Revelations because I was like oh my gosh God sent me back and he was just telling me in that moment can't choose both Angie and you will get left behind and I don't want you to get left behind he doesn't want anyone to get left behind he doesn't want any of us to perish he wants all of us to be with him in heaven and I know this is this is not a word to be smiling over but it's just I love how even want to move right now what is that lord i want to take a picture there's like this beautiful bird it's so big oh god guys i wish i could show you all this like i'm over here like like it's gonna hear me or something but it's a beautiful bird on the fence. God, please let it stay there. Please let it stay there. Please let it stay there. Because it almost reminds me of an eagle. I don't think it's an eagle. Hold on, guys. move the blinds is probably gonna hear it but that's a bird like none other oh my gosh that's beautiful I wish I could show you guys um I'm blown away right now it reminds me of like there's this, t I'm all over the place now, but there was this TikTok where this guy was like, Lord, if you're with me, show me an eagle. Guys, 
the eagle was sitting right on the man's shoulder. And I don't know why that just, I wish I could do it. <laughs> okay, like, this is how I get when God speaks to me. Like, he just showed me that he's with me. And I wish I knew what kind of bird this was. It's huge. It's not huge, but it's not small either. Anyways. <sighs> okay. Let me get back on track. Um. Yeah. I had the fear of the Lord over me that night. Went straight to my Bible. And I was like, okay, God. And, you know, God will allow you he will he will allow us divine connections so that 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 way we can walk into purpose and we can learn more of his voice and learn more of his character and like learn what you know how who he is as a father and i cannot take my eyes off this bird um but um I'm sorry guys Ugh. um yeah anyways I'm all over the place this is it's so hard for me to stay on one subject because I just I'm all over the place but I'm really on here because God gave me such a deep revelation on that knocking and people wake up if you feel the Lord tugging at your heart, knocking at your heart, answer it. Answer it. Because he's speaking to you. He's trying to get your attention. Hey, daughter. Hey, son. It's me. Not me, but it's me, Jesus. And he's just inviting you. He's inviting, he wants to eat with you. He wants to spend time with you. He wants, he already knows you. But he wants you to know him in a whole nother in a whole nother level. To where you do not get swayed to and fro. And you know the voice of God. Um Oh God, I'm gonna have to get up, aren't I? I'm gonna have to get up. I want to read something to you guys and it might help you out whoever comes across this guys I'm gonna pause y'all really fast <sighs> okay I had to get up um I started to write these scriptures on the wall okay one is here one is there my Jesus goals that is a whole word in itself but I'm going to read the scripture and then I'm going to read what the Lord, I feel like the Lord wrote through me. Okay, so it's coming out of Jen, 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 oh Lord Jesus, John 10, 2 and 5. The one who enters by the gate is a sh- And I heard that. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all of his own, he goes ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger, in fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Get it? Now, this little part that I'm going to read at the bottom, replace my name with your name. Okay? Angie, put your name. You know my voice and you follow me. I call you by name. You are mine. Follow me. Follow my leading. Follow my spirit in which way you should go. I love you. You Heavenly Father. (laughs) 
Um, that's John 10, 2 and 5. And then I also have Ephesians. This is a whole different kind of word over here. Ephesians 2, 1 and 2. As for you, you are dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Angie, put your name. There may be times where you fall short and the enemy of your soul tries to keep you in doubt of my goodness. Keep looking to my son Jesus, who has died for your sins. You are my daughter, and nobody will pluck you out of my hand. You are no longer dead in your sins. You have a new life in me. Always remember everything I rescued you from. I love you. I just wanted to read. To read that. That bird is still there, guys. And I really wish I could get a picture of it. I hope that encourages somebody. Um, I just, I, I wanted to get on and share what they were just revealed to me by one TikTok, by a knock on the door. And by the name Jack, don't take God's grace for granted. Don't. There's, um, so much to read, Lord. Where do I even go? I'm going to read some verses. It's coming out of 1 John 1, starting at 1 John 1 and 1. And I'm just going to, I mean, this whole thing, I could read the whole thing, but it says, and the um, subtitle is what was heard, seen, and touched. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. The life was manifested and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that eternal life, which was with the Father and was manifested to us, that which we have seen and heard we declare to you that you also may have the fellowship with you may also have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son Jesus Christ and these things we write to you that your joy may be full I'm gonna keep going the next one says fellowship with him and one another this is the message which, which, which we have heard. Sorry. Have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is the light. Mm. One more time. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light. We have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from our sin. If we say that we have sin, God help me, help me, help me. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us, to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, these things I write to you, 
so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself is the proper population for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the whole world. I just read 1 John 1, verse 1 through verse 10, and then chapter 2. I'm going to go into chapter 2, verse 3. 1 John, chapter 2, verse 3. And it says the test of knowing him. Now by this we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he who says I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. I'm going to keep going. Brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment, which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. That was First John chapter 1 and 2. You know, reading that just kind of reminds me of um, the fruits of the Spirit. Um, for there are so many people that walk with the Lord, love the Lord, worship the Lord, praise the Lord, but yet they don't bear the fruit. And I only say that because sometimes, like, for example, my job, right? Um, their code word can be a total, they don't even know, they don't even know. It could be a whole word, you know? For example, I'm just giving an example. It'll say, God is love. And I'm talking to the member. Sometimes I can tell they have God in them. But then then I don't know where the nastiness comes in. And so to me, God allows me to see that. Um don't don't let that deceive you. Just because someone says they partner with Jesus and they partner with God and they believe in God, do they have the fruits of the Spirit? Are they bearing fruit? How does their fruit look? You know, and the fruits of the Spirit is, um, please Holy Spirit help me. You know, I, I, I don't know all of them by heart, but I know it's like patience, kindness, long-suffering, gentleness. Um, so if you come across somebody who's not bearing their fruit, what does that tell you? You know, that has to, that has to, that has to raise your, 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 your eyebrow. Like, do they really, you know, have a relationship with God? Because there's a big difference between relationship and religion, guys. Religion is not God. 
religion is 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 boxing the Lord, and the Holy Spirit cannot be boxed. He cannot. I don't know where that scripture is. Where it has the spirits of the um the spirits of um my Lord. I need to go to sleep. Where it has the fruits of the spirit. I'm not sure where that's at, but I've been on here way too long. Um. Just know that God's knocking on your heart or someone's heart. Maybe someone you're praying for. He's knocking on their heart and, and pray that they receive it and that they ask questions and hopefully, you know, we're obedient in planting the seed. We're not, it's not our job to water it. We can only plant. And then God waters. Water, God does the rest. So I hope it made sense. I felt like I was all over the place. But I was so excited. The fact that the way the Lord's been speaking to me. And the way he's been giving me these words. The way it's like him in a whole new level. I can't explain it. It's like he will let me see a whole. For example, this bird. It's still sitting here. I wish I could show you. It, it kind of looks like a like but it's about to leave like it's about to leave it's a, I can't explain it but anyways um it's like the bird God can give me a whole word in a, in just by looking at the bird um he gave me a whole revelation on this number over here that I have on my wall and I kept it for that reason so it's just like he's just giving me stuff and I'm like God I don't want to be sitting on this stuff so I need you to leave me when it's time because his timing is always perfect it's always perfect so I hope I made sense but guys it's time to wake up it's time to wake up it's time to do what God has called you to do it's time to heed the voice of God and you cannot be lukewarm with the Lord so either you're going to choose the world or you're going to choose him you can't have both his grace will eventually run out. If you just keep going back and going back and going back to that one thing when he's told you to step away from that, he's only doing it to protect you. He loves you. God is so holy and so righteous and he wants us to be more like his son every single day. Every single day. I pray that I can be like Christ every single day and that I can be a light every single day no matter what that may look like but I know that God's doing something in this hour I know that the things of 2023 2022 2021 are in the past and it's now 2024 it's time to look forward not to look backward um there may be some things there are some things that i will share with you guys that is talking about the past but it doesn't mean that i'm going back there it just means that i'm sharing what the lord is telling me to share you know because um there's got there's some darkness that has to be exposed and it's going to be exposed. Y'all are really going to know. I mean, not maybe down to the detail, you know. But you are going to know what person, like who I was before the Lord. Like, I know I've talked about like the drugs and the sex and all that. But like, and the drinking. But I never went into detail about it. And I feel like the Lord wants me to share that. Because it's going to help somebody. Or some some people. It's gonna help more than one person to let them know that wow, I'm going through this right now, or they're about to go through it, and they're gonna understand how the Lord delivered me. I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect. He did. He's still working in me. He hasn't delivered me from everything that I thought I was delivered from, but there's still some work going on. But you're gonna understand because of my testimony 
the Lord has done so much in my life and by his grace guys man now that I'm thinking about it there's been times where man he's rescued me there's so many things I've done that were so wicked and that were not of God but I understand now and I get it now and I will go into detail about that um, as the Lord leads but right now heed to God's voice he's knocking on your little heart and that's his heart. He loves you. He's for you, not against you. He wants you to do the right thing. He wants you to go. If he's telling you to go left, go left. If he's telling you to go right, then go right. But we are never to go back. Never. We don't we don't want to be that pillar of salt. I'm gonna take a picture after this. I'm gonna try to raise up my blinders and take a picture of that bird and I'm gonna post it and I'm gonna look into what kind of bird that is because I know that that's something. That's something. See, I look for God in everything. In everything. And I know He loves it. He loves it. Like, He wants us to dive deeper with Him. He wants us to really dig. If He's showing you a particular thing over and over and over again, look into it look into it okay what does this mean and he will start teaching you and he will start revealing things to you it's so cool like god is so smart my hair i gotta get used to this i gotta get used to this this is really like wow anyways um i'm in awe right now of the lord like he's so good I got on here to share one thing and I was all over the place and I pray that I made sense I pray that I made sense I pray that I made sense um we'll see what word this is first this one or the other one let me see the other one's still loading so it's going to be loaded in God's divine timing. But I love you guys. God loves you so much more. Just pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention to your desires. You know, if they start to change you start to not want to go out anymore not want to drink anymore and you're wondering like what is this like why is there such a shift it's Holy Spirit it's Holy Spirit it's Holy Spirit <laughs> it's him he's such a gentleman Holy Spirit's awesome and I'm talking about the Spirit of God okay talking about Jesus in me it is only by him that we can bear the fruits of the spirit it is only by him that we continue to walk by faith and not by sight sometimes we walk by sight and not by faith but then he'll just kindly remind us this is this is what we should do keep looking at me keep looking at the father keep looking at Jesus keep standing on my words stay in the word abide in him and he in you so he can abide in you <sighs> but having said that i'm gonna get up off here i'm gonna get some rest um but yeah um Stop smiling because this bird. It's like it's just Jesus in the form of a bird just sitting there looking at me. 
Um, I love you guys. God loves you so much more. If you do need prayer, if you, anything, email me. I think I have that in the about section. You can email me. I'd be more than happy to pray for you. If there's a particular thing you're going through. Um, yeah. Meditate on Revelations 3.20. Sit with God on that. Let him reveal what that means to you. But I know that God's knocking on hearts. And I know that there's no coincidence that I came across that video. And then that happened just yesterday. I'm like, no, there's no coincidence. So I know God's speaking. I know when he's speaking. heed you can't say that oh god didn't tell me because he did he's telling you you don't want to be on you know you want to be on the good side of the lord um because the lord is a just lord he's a just god he's loving he's caring he blesses his children but he's also a just God. And so for those who continue to walk in disobedience, in no way no. No way no. But guys, I, I gotta, my head's starting to hurt. Um, hopefully the headaches have literally just been dehydration maybe. Not really sure. But I had to look into this bird. The Lord has allowed it to sit here this long. It's got to mean something. Bye, guys.